What is up, Uzi Gang? Back here another video. Today, we're talking about the most interesting stuff regarding Eternal Tank over the past couple days. So, I'm gonna do a little something different than I normally do it. So, instead of jumping around like I normally do, I'm just gonna read your comments and then go to the, the news and the nitty gritty. Salty Wave says, Eternal will wait. Because he's salty that he's waiting this long. J Entertainment says, I think that Uzi will drop Eternal Take on October 16th because of the moon's first quarter. Uzi game. Yeah, we won't know until we see. You know, everybody keeps saying this. We just won't know yet. Donovan says October 19th. I'm calling it. Now, he has a very good point, and I'm going to get to it later on. But I'm pretty sure that the thing I'm going to bring up is not anything anybody else has been looking at. Tanner G says, sooner than we think, this S is coming out later than I thought. Yeah, that video title is just based off what Academics has said on his Instagram. Now, also shout out to my guy AI. Like this comment is hilarious. Like I was laughing at it for a cool minute. This is a comment from Matthew Leden, and he's going off the whole idea that Uzi's dropping it during Halloween. Uzi equals spooky. Halloween equals spooky. Need I say more? No, you don't, because I can pretty much explain it. So I really wouldn't call Uzi spooky. I know that he's got a thing going on right now, but like I wouldn't call him spooky or anything like that. Now, Uzi's more of a person that he rocks whatever trend is going on. He's more influenced by stuff like rock and stuff like that, that a normal rap fan would not be intrigued by or would not be hooked by. And this basically goes back to the whole Marilyn Manson thing. And when you really think about it, Uzi mainly looks at Marilyn Manson like he's inspirational to Uzi, like in a way, like through like fashion and through things he was doing at the time, like raging out in the crowd or something like that. He's more like, like Gigi Island was raging. You know, it's more like Uzi's trying to follow the trend that they were doing, but he's trying to integrate that in the hip hop. And again, I mentioned before, there's no concept of devil worshiping that sticks out to me. Cause I'm saying like, it's more of a gimmick to me. Anyways, onto the news. So the first thing I got is from Genius and apparently they know the release date, allegedly. I honestly don't know if they were given the information. I don't know why they would share it like that. I don't know. It's definitely just something to notice and something to look at and say, hey, that might be the release date, but I still don't think it's coming during the week. Then we get into the trolling and some point kind of news speculation. So y'all know that Don Cannon and DJ Drama are on Instagram trolling the fans, you know. Uh, Garrett Garza 22 says, we wait over a year for an album. Then Leaks come out, and now y'all mad. The F you think we gonna do? I'll tell you what we gonna do. Uzi gang squad up, we gonna pull up to the hacker's house, and we gonna get the blast on them hoes. But no, no, I'm only kidding though. Uh, Don Cannon is trolling, he says, love the leaks. And then Gary Garza says, Don Cannon, who hurt you? <laughs> I swear, these dudes are childs, bro. Like, this is only one of the things that they did the whole week. Now, one thing I forgot to mention early on is like, Rolling Loud Los Angeles is coming up in December. And Don Cannon and DJ Drama, I think one of them posted it. And it's coming up in December, and Uzi's headlining one of the shows on Saturday. So you gotta imagine, he's gonna wanna come out with something new before then. He's not gonna just play old songs like he normally does. He's gonna wanna come out with something new. The next time you see Don Cannon, he's rolling around, I don't know, some concert or something like that, trying to look fresh. He's at least 40 years old, trying to look fresh, you know, looking for donuts, obviously. And talking about what album? I swear, bro, like this dude is, is trolling on a different level. Not 6 9 level. 6 9 level is like to infinity. But nah, like most of the fans are freaking out because of the little stuff. I will bring this up though, because I mentioned in the previous video that I thought whenever he liked uh, Academic's photo, he was laughing at the whole thought of it. And then he says, everything gonna feel like this when we drop. I really don't know about that, but okay. Again, these dudes are 40 years of age. They're trying to be like Uzi's dad or something like that. Can you imagine that? Uzi probably hate that, bro. And then we have more trolling from DJ Drama. He says, who's pocketing this album in? I mean, obviously, nobody really cares. They just want you to drop a digital album. I don't even know if people really buy, like, 
physical albums anymore. And there's one thing I want you guys to notice, but I'm gonna get back to that. So Dia Jam is trolling again. He says, when you got some great news, but remember you're a letdown. Obviously he was referring to the running up song, you know. I don't know, the contract's coming to an end. They seem like they're having fun with Uzi or they really are at each other's heads. I don't know. And just one small thing pointed out to me by like one of my subs and basically a fool tried to post like of course on SoundCloud for whatever reason. I mean, he didn't know that was gonna get taken down, right? Anyways, uh, he got taken down by SoundCloud and it said like that it was copyrighted because it was an Uzi song and the official title was called, of course, Intro. So it's the intro apparently to Eternal Take. Do you care? Do I care? Probably not. Anyways, guys, I'm wrapping up right here. So the whole Whose Pocket This Out Man comment kind of threw me off so I kept looking you know whenever I look at this stuff I want to look at some small details that something nobody else is gonna catch and I try to catch this I don't think anybody else caught this but there's an exclamation mark and a question mark right next to each other right and then there's like a pair of eyes right there so this is what I got from it something as small as this makes me think it's the 19th of October just got a really clue into small stuff like that but that is all for now my Uzi gang hit the like button if you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button if you want to join the Uzi gang and I will see the rest of you guys later. Hey you, yeah you, I see you sitting there. Let me ask you, how do you feel about Trippy Red? Okay, 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 how do you feel about Travis Scott? Okay, okay, how do you feel about Playboy Cardi? You know what, how do you feel about Lil Uzi? Like, these are one of the best in the game. Okay, so if you like all these, this is probably the channel for you, as well as some of your favorite artists. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, I'll wait.